Colby Community College opened its doors in 1964 at the Colby Middle School under the direction of the Colby Public School Board. The college moved downtown in 1965 and Dr. Richard Mosier became its first president. At that time, 200 students were enrolled. The library began under the direction of Mrs. B. Davis, who was hired to order, catalog, and process new books. The library was located in the basement of the Cooper Hotel. For a short time, September to November of 1967, the library was located in the rear room of the former Pyramid Restaurant located at 1070 West 4th Street. In the fall of 1966, Mrs. Ruth Lowenthal was hired as the first library director. She had the privilege of moving the library to its present location on November 13, 1967. The dedication of the library was held on November 16, 1968. The library was dedicated and named the H.F. Davis Memorial Library in honor of H.F. Davis, a homesteading pioneer on whose land the college was built. In 1983, in need of space, an addition was built to the north end of the library. This annex added approximately 2,700 square feet of space to the library and to the basement of the building, creating two additional classrooms. In 2009, the Comprehensive Learning Center was moved into the west end of the annex, providing a computer lab for students and patrons to use during library hours. Historical records and archives confirm that prior to the summer of 2017, many features of the library were original to the 1967 completion. Couches and lounge chairs were donated to the library in 2005, adding to comfort and ambiance. However, the majority of the furnishings, including tables, chairs, desks, and study carrels, dated back to initial furniture purchase in 1967. Carpet in the Comprehensive Learning Center was original to completion, and the remainder of the library carpet dated back to replacement in 1992. It showed extreme wear and was in place as a hazard due to buckling. While this is a testament to they don't make things like they used to, college administration and library staff determined that the library was in desperate need of an update to better accommodate patron need.
many hands made this challenging task manageable. It is estimated over 1,000 man hours were logged in the six week schedule from several departments across the CCC campus. This undertaking was made possible by grants from the Greater Northwest Kansas Community Foundation, private donations, and funds from the Colby Community College Endowment. A special thank you to the CCC Board of Trustees and Administration for ensuring H.F. Davis Memorial Library remains the hub of the CCC campus. Further thanks to the maintenance staff and IT department whose strong backs and willing hands were an invaluable asset. An additional thank you to the Northwest Kansas Library System for the manpower, rental, and use of the stack movers. Finally, an appreciation of thanks to the library staff, patrons, and students who continue to make the library a place where all are welcome.